What's up guys, it's Johnny Candido, Candido Training HQ, and as promised, this is my full upper body control workout. Now before I get into the actual training session, I want to thank Nick Wright of Nick Wright Bodybuilding for shouting out my channel, and now he's getting on my program, he's getting on this exact program, and then he's probably going to go into the six week program after a couple weeks in this to integrate him into powerlifting. So I just want to say that it's awesome that he shouted out the channel, and he's just a really nice guy, and it, I'm just amazed, honestly, at how nice everyone is on YouTube. All you guys in the comment sections, all you guys liking the videos, the positive support. I have to say, I never really anticipated that it'd be like this. But to get to the actual workout, of course, I'm doing pause lifts, and I'm doing photo presses, which is just another term to say you're pausing with the bar as close to your chest without actually touching your chest. And what this will do is this will just force you to remain tight in that bottom position. So this is of course similar to the pause squats and pause deadlifts where this is used to reinforce proper form. However, I think that this can actually even be more useful and more important because what happens with the bench press is a lot of times people just bounce the bar off their chest. Now you can bounce in the bottom of a squat, but you're just using a stretch reflex. Whereas if you're bouncing the bar off your chest in a bench press, now you're literally just using your sternum you know, as a trampoline. You see it all the time with guys who are new in the gym. And so this really just forces you to remove that ego and to just build raw strength. Also, as far as how long you wanna pause, that really depends on the individual. You can try different time lengths, but personally, I would say you don't wanna pause too long to where now you're just using such light weight that it's really not gonna help you that much when it comes to the actual heavy lifting. So you'll see here, I'm actually pausing longer than I normally would, but that's just because I'm doing pause bench on my heavy days as well, since I am preparing for this meet, the Arnold Classic, coming up. So if I was doing it in a normal time, let's say I don't have any meets coming up, what I would do is I would do touch and go on the heavy days, and then just a brief pause on these photo presses. Now another really important point I want to talk about in this video is you'll notice on these dumbbell rows that I'm not bringing the weight back as far as I usually do on the heavier days. And the reason being is since we're pausing at full contraction, as I said before, the lats aren't contracting anymore once your elbow is beyond your body. So what's happening is that's fine for a big full range of motion movement once you're using momentum through that entire range of motion to get maximum scapular retraction. However, once you're pausing at the top, what's gonna happen if you use a full range of motion is that's going to stress your shoulders way too much. It's going to all go to your rear delts. So you don't wanna hold that in a full range of motion position. You wanna pause where your elbows are equal to your body. After the majority of the work, the benching and the rowing, I just did a peak set of cheat dumbbell curls for one set of 10. And then afterwards I did seated dumbbell press also for a peak set of 10. Now for my first optional accessory exercise, I did face pulls with external rotation. And in my opinion, this is the number one most effective accessory exercise for anyone who's bench pressing heavily frequently because what this does is this helps prevent muscular imbalances in your shoulders and it helps promote proper posture as well. So in my opinion, if you were just going to do one optional accessory exercise, I would strongly recommend you do this or you do a rear delt row instead. Both of those are extremely effective. All right, that's it guys. If you came here from Nick Wright's recommendation, welcome to the channel. I appreciate the positive support from everyone. Make sure to like the video, support the channel, subscribe if you haven't already, and thanks for watching guys. Peace.